today I wanted to show you around one of my absolute favourite areas in London, which is Shoreditch. Shoreditch is in East London. It's around other areas like Hoxton, uh, Liverpool Street, Farringdon. It's around about here on the London map. So we're going to start as if I was going from Old Street Station, which is usually the way I go when I'm heading to Shoreditch. You can go from Old Street or Liverpool Street Station. The reason I love this area is that it's so artsy. There's always arts on the street walls everywhere. Um, it's just, it feels like a very kind of progressive area. Lots of creatives there. There's always been lots of advertising agencies there, up and coming businesses, independent businesses. And I feel like it's such a lively area. Like there's always so much going on. It's kind of got a grittiness to it. It's very bare almost anyway. Um, I usually walk down Great Eastern Street. On that road, you'll come across Attendant Coffee. I love the decor inside this coffee shop as well. It's so cool. It's also a nice little place if you wanted to sit and work somewhere on your laptop. Um, it's very buzzy on that high road. Opposite there as well is the Hoxton Hotel, which I forgot to film. That hotel is amazing if you're looking for somewhere to stay. So heading down towards some of my favourite shops, I usually take a shortcut through Rivington Street. This is such a cute street. There's a lot of um, kind of tucked away hidden shops here. It's a really cute little cut through and it's a great place to take Instagram photos as well. And that comes out onto Curtain Road, which is where Good Hood is, which is my probably my favourite store in Shoreditch. Good Hood just has a bit of everything. It's very curated. It has quite a lot of streetwear, but it carries a lot of different brands. Like it carries Ganny, which is one of my favorite um, designers. A lot of the items are on the pricier side. I don't always tend to actually get something, but I love browsing the store. On the top floor, you've got men's and women's clothing. You've got accessories. Um, and then on the bottom floor, there is um, homeware bits. Oh my God, they do such good items down there. And there's loads of stationery downstairs as well. So if you love your quirky kind of minimal stationery, you'll probably love it in there as well. Highly recommend popping into Good Hood, even if you just want a little browse. It's just, a, it's just an amazing store. I love it. <laughs> We're in there all the time. Heading across the road from there, first is the diner. It's a great kind of, com you know, American comfort food spot. I'm sure you all know about the diner. And then we've got Fix 126. I love Fix Coffee. It's always so good. So um, it's probably my favorite coffee place in Shoreditch, actually. I don't know if the staff find it annoying, but I find it outside Fix. Um, it's really Instagrammable, so a little tip. We're going to head down to Shoreditch High Street now um, and then further along to Box Park. So first um, I take a little stroll <laughs> down Rivington Street. There are loads of great stores on Shoreditch High Street. There's a JW Anderson there. Um, a lot of shops that stock independent brands. I have to give a little mention to the Ace Hotel, which is here. Isn't it so pretty? Um, it's amazing inside. Even if you wanted to pop in there to have a coffee and to work on your laptop. If you're visiting and you wanted to stay in Shoreditch, I'd highly recommend the Ace Hotel. Moving on to food, where to eat. Um, one of my favorite places is Dishoom. The entrance to it is around the back. The most amazing Indian food and it's so pretty inside as well. I don't think you can book, so you have you always have to kind of chance it and see if you can get a table. And probably my top, top favourite thing is Pizza East. Oh my god, this pizza. Uh, pizza's my favourite food, so this is why I'm so passionate. It's so good. Um, it's got quite a small menu. You change the menu, I think, according to what's in season, so you're always getting really good fresh ingredients on the pizzas. And their sides, oh my god. So I have to tell you guys about their mac and cheese. I'm sure it is the best mac and cheese in London. <laughs> so this is a top favorite of mine. Please go and try their mac and cheese. Do you know what? They also do a really nice salad. <laughs> it's just really simple. It's like their butter leaf uh, and avocado salad. Just a little tip if you like something a bit healthier. So Box Park, I feel like a lot of you probably do know about, but basically um, it's this area that holds a lot of different shops and they're all in kind of old shipping containers. Um, so I love the concept of it. And often um, you'll find new brands popping up in there. We had a pop-up in there for November night. Upstairs is all food as well, food and drink. So if, oh my God, there's like noodles up there. There's vegan food up there, bubble tea, fish and chips. 
But I really wanted to show you guys one of my favourite decor shops in London, um, Decorum. It's a tiny little shop, but a lot of it is quite monochrome, very, it's got it's, it's got a very distinct style to it. And I've got a few things from there in, in our house because uh, I'm just a little bit obsessed. <laughs> across from box park is dirty burger i think this is my favorite burger in london which is another like huge claim for me because i love my burgers so coming to the end of this little tour we're gonna head down from there to red church street this is one of my favorite streets another great one for instagram photo ops shops like apc sweaty betty uh, there's an esop but one of my favorite shops to go into is called modern society they serve coffee as well actually, which is also good coffee. <laughs> uh, this is such a beautiful store. It's another kind of concept store, very curated. They only carry a few certain brands. It's one of those shops that I go into and I'm like, everything in here is my style. And price wise, it's a bit more on the high end the than the low end. You know, it's not somewhere I go in and splurge often, but I get so inspired by stores like this. So if you just like places visually sometimes, you know, I recommend to go in there. And then coming to the end, I really wanted to mention Barbara and Parlor because this is an awesome place to go and get your nails done. Part of the Cheeky Nails Company, so they've got a few different kind of salons across London. There's also a cinema in there as well, which is cool. And then opposite this, I uh, realised that there's a Brandy Melville that's just popped up, so I thought I'd include that in this video. And that brings us to the end. I hope you guys liked this video. I loved making this and there is so much more I think to show you in East London so I might do a part two. Please let me know what you thought down below. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!